A good Tuesday morning to you all. We begin with reports of a furious President Trump after the first indictments in the Russia investigation. His former campaign chair, Paul Manafort, and his former deputy are now on house arrests after pleading guilty to charges connected to their business dealings. But the first evidence of possible collusion is coming from another former Trump advisor who cut a deal after lying to the FBI about Russia. ABC's Janae Norman is joining us from Washington, where things are pretty busy this morning. Good morning, Janae. Absolutely, Candace and Diane. So Special Counsel Robert Mueller handed up the first indictments in the Russia investigation. We expected that, but then came the unexpected news, that guilty plea from a former advisor to the Trump campaign. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort and one-time deputy campaign manager Rick Gates both charged in a sweeping 12-count indictment of conspiracy against the United States, money laundering, and failing to register as agents for a foreign government. Both former campaign leaders pled not guilty to the charges unrelated to their activity working on the Trump campaign. But the biggest break in the investigation led by special counsel Robert Mueller, the revelation that former Trump campaign foreign policy advisor George Papadopoulos worked with suspected Russian agents, then denied it to the FBI. George Papadopoulos, uh, he's an oil and energy consultant, excellent guy. Papadopoulos, seen just a few seats from Donald Trump at a national security meeting, pleaded guilty earlier this month to lying to the FBI and has been secretly cooperating. According to the FBI, in April 2016, Russians told Papadopoulos they had dirt on Hillary Clinton and thousands of emails long before they were made public. The day after that meeting, Donald Trump gave his first foreign policy speech with an emphasis on Russia. I believe an easing of tensions and improved relations with Russia from a position of strength only is possible, absolutely possible. And according to court filings, Papadopoulos reported to four senior campaign managers or policy advisors as he worked to try to set up a meeting between then-candidate Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin. Diane and Kendis. All right, Janae Norman, live from Washington. Thanks, Janae.